Hi, Nina hey. Sublas. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. You really changed your look. Yes, I did. You? I like you, we can sit on the bus and I'd be like, she looks familiar, but I don't quite know who she is. Yeah, it's me. It, actually, that's a natural look. <laughs> is this how you look before yes. Eurovision? Yeah, and oh uh, no, I was uh, all black before Eurovision as well. But that's why everything's natural. <laughs> so, what prompted this new change, the rebirth of Nina Sublati? I don't really know. I don't. Really, maybe, maybe the thing that I like changes. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But one day I woke up and I realized I need to be more natural. So oh, <laughs> I cut it my hair and dyed it blonde. And that's it. <laughs> Welcome to Ukraine. Tamara Gatchaladze, who's representing Georgia, unfortunately didn't make it into yeah. the finals. What was your initial reaction? Well, I was trying to keep my faith as well because I, to be honest, I was waiting her to qualify for a final. So the thing that happened was kind of unexpected for me. And I, I don't really know what to say. She was great. The performance was so stunning and beautiful. And I hope next time we'll qualify. I hope so. And, you know, Eurovision is like, you know, those three minutes are so crucial. Like, one thing, you had the smoke machine. Yeah. <laughs> what was the compensation? Were you compensated for this? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, I don't no think apology, so. No apology, nothing. Uh, yes, that was for sure an apology, but I didn't, you know, it was a final. It was a, my final show, so I was really hoping to do it uh, as best as I could. So that was kind of upsetting, but it's okay. It's okay. Will you ever do Eurovision again? Is it something that's <laughs> crossed your mind? I I really don't know. I really don't know. But I would love to. But I would love to because um, Eurovision for me is a huge, um, huge concert. And for me, uh, as an artist, not only as a musician and a songwriter and a singer, but as a um, as a as an artist who loves to create costumes, who loves to play with all these lights and LED screens and all these things. It's still interesting for me to do it, do it again, but I don't really know. <laughs> I never think. It, I never thought about it. Who do you think will win this year? Um, I'm not sure, but uh, my favorite is Portugal. Ah. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> That's interesting. Who's your least favorite? That I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> there must, and who in the semis did you want, apart from obviously Georgia, who else did you think, oh, that should have gone through? In Georgia? No, no, no. In, in the semifinals. Oh, in the semifinals. Were there any songs you thought, oh, wow, how did that not go through? Yes, it was Georgia. <laughs> Only Georgia. <laughs> Only Georgia, oh yes. Oh my God. Well, you heard it from the Georgian princess of pop herself, Nina Sublazi, looking very different. <laughs> look at that camera. She looks different, but I'm yeah. loving your natural look. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Nina, you it's do. always a pleasure. Junior Eurovision. Oh, yes. What surprises have you got for us in Tbilisi? Um, sightseeing, mm -hmm. food, good music. But will you have well, a role at the contest? In, um, in November? I don't know. I don't know. Nobody offered me anything, so <laughs> I yes. don't really know. Yes. <laughs> yes. We yes. don't know yet. Well, it's yes. always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.